So, what makes me happy to be in Snøhetta? Uh, what makes it me happy to be a Snøhetta? Uh, it's obviously about the people, and it's obviously also about the tasks. Um, and you know all these things about the people and, and the atmosphere we have is almost has almost become a cliche. I think also outside the house, everyone talking about the Snøhetta family. But it is really true because it's um, I, being here for so many years and really not feeling that there are uh, a lot of conflicts between, uh, you know, feeling that you like everyone you, you work with, you know, like every day. There's not going and there's conflicts around. Um, I think that is extremely valuable. And, and that is what we call also the, the generosity, which is an important word for us in all means. It's not only between the people, but it's also how we deal with our clients, how we let their thoughts and their uh, questions uh, be part of uh, what we also question and how people are a little bit afraid when they come and they think we are, you know, we are big time. So here you can't come with your little tiny problems. And that is so untrue. And I think now with all the workshops we start out with, it really makes people have low shoulders when they go into a project. And I feel I all through these years, I've worked with so many different people abroad, uh, different cultures and also around the Norway itself where you also have different cultures. And, and so I feel uh, that one of my last projects um, that I was part of was uh, uh, this fishing industry uh, project in the north. And, uh, you know, they they were fishermen. They said that we're fishermen. We don't know anything about architecture. And they gave us all this trust, which was so fantastic. And, you know, never questioning, uh, paying their bills. but being forging this kind of personal relationship to us all through uh, which made us so fond of them and i think they got fond of us as well so that you know all the things when things also sometimes uh, are difficult there was always that you could pick up the phone and call them uh, and uh, talk about it and uh, you know there was never never any conflicts at all and this is a little project but also the bigger projects i feel uh, this personal relationship, because it's always about persons and, and always about people. And however far away we live in, so, in different cultures, different religions, whatever, uh, it's actually the one-to-one -one meeting with this person. If it's a fisherman up there, if it's a S Saudi person who lives in a very different reality, and nowadays uh, in Hong Kong with an Asian culture that I have to learn and adapt to, it's it's always broken down to this one thing. I meet another person and actually we're not that difficult. And I think that is one of the most fantastic things about Snöta, giving me this opportunity to remember this every day when I work. So I'm really very thankful for that. Yes.